Hi, I'm Matt Mariska, Senior Project Manager with Bullseye Locations. I'm here to talk to you about maintaining lead forms in Bullseye. Bullseye's Lead Manager subscription grants you access to the tools required to capture actionable leads from your website users and deliver them directly to your partners. Depending on your needs, we allow you to capture leads from a number of different places from within your website. A lead form can be incorporated with your search results, embedded on a local page, or even add it as a standalone element to any of your existing web pages. Let's get started by opening the Bullseye Admin and creating a new lead form. First, you'll need to select Interfaces from the left side menu. Under Interfaces, you'll see an option for Forms. Clicking Forms will take you to the Bullseye Lead Form Builder. If you already created some lead forms, they'll be listed here. For an existing form, you can preview the form, view its published details, edit the form, and if necessary, delete the form. Let's click the Add Form button to create our new lead form. The components of a lead form are the fields included on the form and the configuration settings that define the form and its appearance and behavior. The Form Fields tab has been selected by default to get you started. Some fields have been pre-selected and added to the form. If you wanna add some more fields, click on the field you'd like to add and click the Add Selected button. To remove a field, click on the field you'd like to remove and click the Remove Selected button. You can change the display order of a field by clicking on the field and dragging it to its new position. You can customize a field by clicking the Edit link. Here you can change the label of the field, specify if it's required for data entry, and in the case of address, you can either display the full address or only display the fields you'd like to display, display on the form. Now that we've finished defining the fields, let's move on to form settings. When a lead is captured, the form's lead type tells our system what type of entity to associate the lead to. In this case, it'll be associated to a location record. The form name is how you identify the form. Let's call this form my test form. The form title will display as a label on top of the form. I'm going to title this form, contact a partner. In the case when you've added multiple forms to your site, the lead source field can help you report on which forms are being used. You can create multiple lead source options to specify where the form will be used. If you want to hard code a message or add an image to the form, you can use the content block field. Enabling it will display an HTML editor field where you can add your custom content. I have some HTML here that I'm going to paste in. If you want to send a thank you message back to the user when they submit a lead, you can configure this here. If you'd like to notify your partners when a new lead is created, you can enable it here. If you enable this option, you'll be required to pick an email template for this type of notification. The advanced style field will allow you to customize the look and feel of the form by adding your own style sheet or JavaScript code to the form. To prevent spamming, we recommend that you enable the capture response. Finally, you can select how the form behaves when the form is submitted by displaying a custom message or redirecting to a URL or an embedded interface. Now that we've completed the setup of our new form, let's save our work. At any time when you're creating your lead form, you can preview the form by clicking the preview button at the top of the page. Clicking the preview button will open the form in its current state in a pop-up window in preview mode. This will allow you to confirm how the form will look to your website users. You can confirm that the content block has been added here to the left. Our form title is displayed at the top. Our custom address fields have been added and the capture responses have been added as well. You can test the form by selecting live mode. This will allow you to submit a lead and assign it to a selected partner. Now that the form has been created, the next step is to add it to a search interface or a local page. To do that, you need to click interfaces, select the interface that you want to add the form to by clicking the edit link. On the options tab in the display section, scroll down towards the bottom and you'll see an option for lead capture. 
click add lead capture form and select the form that we just created. Adding a lead form to a local page is very similar. Click on local pages, select the local page by clicking the edit link, select the content tab, scroll down and check lead forms and then pick the lead form that we created. That's it. We've created a lead form and added it to a search interface and a local page. You're on your way to interact with your website users and capture actionable leads. Check out the rest of our videos in our lead management series. Thank you for watching.